In this video, we're going to be using the Gold Dollar 66, honed by So Sharp David and Captain's Choice Sandalwood. We're also going to start a new tag video, the Feel the Bird Challenge. Feel the Burn Challenge, that is. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks. Welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I thank you, thank you, thank you. And if it's your first time here, hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're going to use So Sharp David's Edge for the first time on the Gold Dollar 66. Looking forward to that. Thank you, David. And Captain's Choice Sandalwood uh, Shaving Soap. It's been a while since I've used Captain's Choice. I bought this and I also bought the Cat O' Nine Tail. So we can start a new challenge with that. I'm really looking forward to, to using that and feeling that burn. So the soap, great sandalwood scent. Sort of reminds me a little bit of a fine, um, the fine sandalwood type of scent is what it's what it smells like to me. Similar to, I should say. Really, really nice. There is your pour. It's quite light in color. Nice pour. Nice packaging. One thing I can say about Captain's Choice for sure. Scott at Captain's Choice is a legitimate good um, gent. I've spoke to him a couple times on the phone. Really nice guy. Five ounces of soap. You can get it for $17.95. Uh, that is... Three fifty nine on our cost chart, which is a good price. I'll show you show you the ingredients right here, so you can get a feel for what the ingredients are. The scent strength on this, I call it right at about medium, about five. Really beautiful sandalwood scent, more like the fine Santel Absolute than Tob sandalwood, but really nice scent. And we shall use that today. This will be straight razor shade number eighty. So let's start. Misting, and what I'm doing right now is just using a mister. This is just plain water, applying water to my face. I get that question every now and then. Today's growth, uh, 24 hours. So you can see it there. Just normal daily growth. I am generally a seven day a week shaver. I'm gonna use the PAA Cube pre-shave because I have used the the uh, Captain's Choice soap base before and it performs quite well. I have no problems with the Captain's Choice uh, soap base. And so if it were a brand new base to me, I wouldn't use a pre-shave, but since it is, I will. And again, the pre-shave is not necessary uh, for me, but I have the cube and I enjoy using it. And I may as well use it. You know, I've got several pre-shaves. Um, I just, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I don't like the pre-shave oils. Um, I do enjoy the pre-shave So, Whether they're necessary, you decide. I think in large part, they're probably not necessary, but it's fun to use. And the guest right there over this shoulder is, of course, Little Pete. So Little Pete is joining us for a shave today. We won't talk to Little Pete very much today because I'm upset with those label, that label I got from which one is, <laughs> which one is pink soap that I unboxed uh, yesterday. Hope you saw that and enjoyed it. Wow, nice scent. If you like sandalwood, if you're a lover of sandalwood, check this one out. I remember buying this aftershave back when it first came out because originally Captain's Choice had like bay rum, they had lime, they had cat or nine tails, and I think sandalwood was the next release. And since that time, they've expanded um, quite a bit. And so a lot of people ignore Captain's Choice. But I will say, they've been around for a long time and they are a good steward of the community. So, check them out, if you please. Very nice. As you can see, no problems with the lather here whatsoever. No problems at all. Let's clean this up here a little bit and wipe some of this excess lather off the shirt. No need to. Leave that there and let's see what So Sharp David's Edge is all about. Hopefully we will enjoy it. We shall see, let's see what it feels like here. Yeah, that feels nice. So far, feeling nice. I can tell, I think this is a codical, or codical edge, depending on how you want to pronounce that. I can see what they mean about Smooth, perhaps. Maybe not quite as sharp as some edges, but that feels nice, actually. That's a very nice, smooth edge. And so I really value a smooth edge, and so 
I would say this is very nicely done. Um, but let's wait until we deal with the neck because that's where we, we always can tell really how the edge is performing. But so far I would say, David, you've done a great job on this edge. And I would tell you if I did not like it because I know that's the feedback you want, but so far I am enjoying this edge. So maybe I need to get a cortical or cortical, depending on how you want to say that. I don't know what the proper way to say it is. So that first side was real nice. I would say, uh, it seems to me like David is well on his way based on this edge. Um, I don't know how long it took him to hone this, but um, it feels good. Oop. I just put the razor to my face haphazardly there, so I might have nicked myself. I could feel it when I put it to my face. And that's, again, when I cut myself more times than not, it is putting the razor to the face. That feels pretty good. I would say the edge is maybe not as sharp as some of the edges that I use, um, but, but smooth. It's taken off that hair, no problem at all. And so it's gonna be nice to use that cat or nine tails on a different edge. So you, I'm gonna get some additional burn probably, which is gonna be awesome. And I'll talk about that challenge as we go here. I want to mention a, a channel that I really enjoy watching and a gentleman that I really appreciate, and that is Doug Bear. He's made a few videos recently. He always has these sort of out of the box uh, videos that he makes. The channel is called The Barely Normal Wet Shaver. And I encourage you to go over and check out his channel. It is really, really great. And when he says something, I tend to listen to it. Um, because, you know, he's somebody that thinks things through and really tests things out. And so he's a guy that certainly I, uh, I listen to when he has something to say, because I respect his process and the way he approaches everything. All right. Very nice first pass there. So, so sharp David's edge was pretty doggone good there. Feels good. I can tell, I mean, you can definitely feel a difference in that codical edge versus the JNAT or synthetic edges. Like say your Sprecher or your uh, Anthony Esposito, Esposito, excuse me, the Stallion JNAT edge or even my JNAT edge. It's got a different feel to it. It feels nice and smooth. It doesn't feel toothy, but I don't think it's quite as sharp perhaps but it's still cutting very, very well at the same time. So it doesn't have that uber sharp feeling, but it, it still cuts very well without feeling rough. And so for me, that's a win. So I like this edge. And I'd say, David, whatever you're doing, I would build on that and keep doing it because it feels pretty doggone good to me. It doesn't feel rough. And that's the main thing I want to avoid in a straight razor edge. I don't care if it's sharp, but I don't want it to be too thin rough. And your edge is feeling uh, really comfortable to use and comfort for me is really where it's at with these, you know, straight razor shaves. So let's dry the hands off and see how we do on the neck here. Yeah, I think this is a nice edge. Again, I feel, I think it's perhaps Maybe, just maybe a little less sharp than the JNAT edges. But it still feels great and it's cutting well and that's the main thing, so. This is a, quite a respectable edge, I would say. Especially from someone new to honing. So if I, let's put it this way. If I brought this edge off the, my own stones and used it, I'd be very happy with it. So David should be, David should be uh, excited and happy with how it's going because very nice here, I think. Feeling good on the neck, which is my most difficult spot. So great job, David. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy for you that your honing is coming along. 
We don't know what happened to the dude of shaving and his honing. He was honing and then we haven't heard anything for a while. So I don't know what's going on with the junior's honing. So while we have a moment here, let's talk about what the nice feeling really smooth, David. And I'm not saying this to be nice. I'm saying it because, you know, it really is feeling nice. So this is an edge I'd be happy to shave with, you know, on a regular basis. I'm sure he will get better over time, just like I will, but really nice. Uh, anyway, let's talk about the Feel the Burn Challenge, which is Captain's Choice Cat Nine Tails. Um, and I bought this specifically for this purpose. What it is, you need to acquire the cat of nine tails. And I think, I know not everybody's going to be able to afford to do this, but it's not super expensive. It's maybe $18 or something. The aftershave. Uh, for, but for those who are willing, and I'm going to tag a few people after I do it, because I'm going to be first. I'm not going to tag you to do anything I won't do. But, um... So the idea is to get a shave, preferably straight razor, but it doesn't have to be. And then, without using any post products, you just rinse your face with water and you apply the Captain's Choice Cat O' Nine Tail. So it's pretty simple. The only thing is, the Cat O' Nine Tails is designed to bring the burn, and it does. And it says, feel the burn on it. So that's why we're going to uh, start this challenge. And I'm hoping also that some people will consider, you know, checking out some of the Captain's Choice products at the same time. Again, I'm not here to sell you anything. Um, and if I were to want to sell you th something, I would tell you, if I ever do want to sell you something, I'll tell you up front. Um, but Scott from Captain's Choice, again, just a top gentleman in the hobby, has been for many, many years. And I don't think you'll find anyone who will say anything bad about him. And so I like to support good people. And I know oftentimes we give, you know, a lot of attention to everything that's new. But I'm telling you, some of these old school artisans and vendors have been around and paid their dues and probably could, deserve, you know, use our attention. He's been um, also a supporter of many of our YouTube channels. And so I know they have some new products out. He sent one called Land Ho, which I haven't gotten to yet. Um, I will be getting to that. But I wanted to use some products that I purchased. And, you know, oh, by the way, I'm using the <laughs> Captain's Choice Copper Bowl here, which I love, because if you drop this one, it's no big deal. Worst case, you get a dent in the bowl, so you're not gonna really set yourself back. You know, it's not gonna destroy your bowl. He also has them in ceramic. This is my favorite bowl, because the size of it, very easy to deal with. Then my next favorite bowl would be the Pereira, and then after that, the Timeless. Uh, we can talk about bowls some other time if you like, but anyway, boy, this soap smells, smells very, very, very nice. Lathers well, no problems. I would say it's a, it's a, a good performer. It's in that, you know, mid-range. You're not gonna get your, um, Kaizen like lather that's but it is more than adequate in that again mid-range will do the job. You shouldn't have any problems with it. So if you're interested in any of the Captain Choice products, I will certainly link the website below and I will link um the soap on Amazon. Because I believe it's even cheaper than I got it at uh I got it at West Coast Shaving. So I think it was like 15 something when I looked on Amazon. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Great sandalwood scent. All right. Very nice. And for those of you who care, Scott is a man of faith. And so if that interests you and you're interested in supporting uh, a man of faith, then, you know, give it a shot. Very nice. I'm loving the edge, David. It's really, really nice. He's been real happy with his edges. I could see it on his videos. And uh, 
I can see why, because they're coming along nicely. I would say um, this edge is better than some of my edges. I have one favorite razor that I've honed really well that I really love using, and I would say this one is right up there with my own edge, my favorite one. So it's, it's really, I think David did a good job on it. So congrats, David. Continue building on whatever you're doing. It's working. And these gold dollars are not super easy to own, especially setting the bevel. They can be whew, quite a pain. But uh, he's done a good job with this one. This again is the gold dollar 66. If you're curious to model one thing about the gold dollar 66, that paint will not stay. So it's already starting to come off. So be cognizant of that if you buy one. Don't don't be in love with the paint because it will come off. Boy, this is shaving nicely. Very good. Nice solid edge. I would ask Pete what he thinks about it, but we're not. Not today. We're not speaking to Pete because of those label flaws. <laughs> I'm just busting Pete's chops, obviously. You know, we like Pete. And we will have some fun with little Pete as time goes on. Have no fear. And then we will send it on to the next person in line. Ray Pope was the one who uh, had little Pete made <laughs> back there. So don't worry. Today, little Pete is just watching, but he will be involved. We got some things that we will do with little Pete. All right, let's finish this shave out. And I'm sorry I've been yapping and have uh, let the video go a little bit long. Okay. So you guys, so you folks can see that there's no tomfoolery. Let me wipe the blade and set it aside. I'm going to rinse on screen, which I normally do not do. And I'll apply the Captain's Choice. Let's use this cloth to remove some. I will apply the Captain's Choice Cat of Nine Tails. Again, you can use no post products before this. No bombs, no witch hazel, because that will take some of the zip out of it. Let's wet this cloth. And make sure we get the rest of that soap off. We don't want to have a bunch of soap left on our face. That was a nice shave. I got to say, both the Captain's Choice did well, as well as uh, David's Edge, really nice. The uh, brush, by the way, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb, sent to me by Oive. Thank you, Oive. So let's make sure we get all that soap off. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. Now we're ready for... The Captain's Choice, Cat of Nine Tails. Again, it says right there, feel the burn, it will bring it. So we'll look forward to this. It's been years since I've used this, shake it up good. And after I do this, we'll think of some people to tag that I think might appreciate this. Let's get a good healthy portion and let's go. Oh yeah. What happens is when you first put it on, you don't feel much and it will intensify and then it will sort of reach a, uh, a particular level of burn and then it fades. So now it's coming, coming. Let's go for another round while it's <laughs> marinating there. You can definitely feel, I don't think it's bad as it used to be, honestly, or maybe I've just grown more tolerant, um, but you can definitely feel that sting, it's not, to me, now it's coming, coming. You, I think you need to put a good bit on. Still there, still there. How long will we burn? Still going, still going. I spilled a little bit of down the bottle. Still going. It is a nice, um, it's different from the alcohol sting. It, it, it is actually feels like it's an intense, um, warming of the skin. Now it's starting to fade a little bit. So 
For those of you who aren't girly men and afraid, I'm gonna tag some folks and hopefully you, you folks will accept this challenge because you, first of all, you gotta get this. So I'm sorry, might require you to get this, but if you like Bay Rum, you're gonna like it. So the first person tagged, because this is sort of with the theme of his channel, Lather Me Whiskers. I think it's the first time I've tagged Lather Me Whiskers. I don't think I've mentioned Lather Me Whiskers before. You're tagged. Get yourself some Captain's Choice Cat Nine Tails. No post products, straight to the face after rinsing. And let us know what you think. Next, I'm gonna tag Shave326, Ken Klitschko. Because I don't know how he will do with this burn. And finally, who else will we tag? Who else will we tag? Marion the Barbarian. You're tagged too. Why not? He is a true barbarian as of late. See if he can handle this burn. Let's see what happens. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm sorry sorry this one went a little long. We had a great shave. Again, check out Captain's Choice. <laughs> Hold her up right there. Great products. We had a great uh, shave with David's Edge and we enjoyed Little Pete. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.